Children, I see you met the new mailman. Nice guy. Kitty liked him, too. Charmer. Well, let's see. Oh, he burned down his house. Again. How do you do it this time? He soaked the carpets in kerosene and torched them. Accidents will happen. Oh, look. He's coming to stay with us while they rebuild his neighborhood. Wonderful. I'll have Lurch install an extra gas leak in the guest room. Mother, why does Great Grandpa always burn down his house? He likes the company of firefighters. You see, he's been very lonely since great-grandmama Delilah passed away. Poor thing. She was rollerblading with her headphones on. Didn't even hear that Mack truck. Come, Pumphrey. Let's go play in traffic. I'll let you wear my brand new blades. You know, we could all learn a thing or two from Wednesday about being kind to others. <laughs> Every day. Good thing he keeps it in the basement. Ooh. Saves our travel time. I know what Grandpa needs. Fire insurance? Besides that, he needs to play the field. Live a little. Esther, you may be right. Darling, why doesn't Grandpa date? He tried, but he couldn't find anyone who would wear Delilah's wig. He should visit Club Fed. Club Fed. It's the single resort for ex-cons. You get to lie out on the rocks of Alcatraz. I don't know that ex-cons are really Grandpa Pa's type. Well, they have other ones. Club Fed? No, too risque. Club Shed? No, that's for lepers only. Ooh, I know. Club Dead. It does have a nice ring to it. Swinging resort for singles over 50. And a nice view of the cemetery. It gives him something to look forward to. Two weeks of club dead it is. It'll be our gift. Go, Miss Darling. Let's not tell Grandpapa until the last day of his visit. We don't want him to think we're trying to get rid of him. <laughs> like the smell of fester in the morning, is there? Oh, go on. Well, that looks just like home. Even has smoke damage. Where's that young Gomez? Ha ha! Lurch, refreshments all around. 
Grandpapa. He just got here and already it's like he's head of the household. Morticia, this living room's absolutely dreary. My compliments. Why, thank you. You know, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Neither have you. You're just as ravishing as the day you graduated from finishing off school. Well, the formaldehyde helps. You look old enough to be my mother. Flatterer. I'll work! Mmm, thank you! <laughs> hey, Lurch! You really know how to make a cocktail! Just the right amount of vermin. So, Grandpapa, what will you be doing while you're in town? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, yes, nothing. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> it is. By the way, I had Lurch install the deluxe rack in the guest room. It's a good one, too. It'll numb all the feeling in your legs. Oh, that's excellent. Well, everyone, a toast. A toast to family and uh, standing three inches taller. <laughs> was as hard as a rock. One of the advantages of granite. The guest room was nice. Wait till you see your mother and father are sending you. Oh. That's sweet. They're sending me somewhere? Not dead, right next to a cemetery. It's a place for older people and... You'll have to forgive my brother. He's prone to making up stories. An admirable trait. Please excuse me, great grandpapa. It's time to feed the animal. And you know how cranky Pugly gets when he hasn't eaten. Club dead. Older people? A cemetery? Wait a minute. They're sending me to a nursing home. Why would they put me in a home? It's not as though I was senile, or indigent, or a frequent guest on daytime talk shows. Certainly they can't think I'm feeble. Maybe they think I'm old-fashioned. Thing, how could they do this to me? In five easy installments? Any thoughts on what I should do? A joke, that's brilliant! I'll pretend to be 50 years younger. I'll show them I'm too young to go to a home. I'll be downright in! Oh, 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 my bursitis. Cousin Winkle, sleepwalking again. Oh, oh, nothing like a pre-dawn jog to put blisters on your feet. <laughs> Grandpapa, you shouldn't be jogging at this hour. Why not? There's no traffic. Oh, yes. Although it is good for spying on the neighbors. <laughs> I just can't help it. I have so much energy. <laughs> Relax. One bite of a Mazla bottomy line pie, you'll be as docile as a doorknob. Oh, no. We can't put a man down while he's in his prime. Now, let's find Cousin Winkle. Let's go. Come on. Gomez. Gomez. Oh, he's fast. Hey. Look how 
nicely the hemlock is coming along. Just in time. Glycerin and a dash of sulfuric acid? Two parts of sulfuric acid and a uh, dash oh, of There's nothing like bench pressing 500 pounds to get the circulation going. Yeah, I'd like to exercise too, but I'm too lazy. Huh, what's that? Someone's birthday coming up? No, it's a bomb for fishing. Oh, I love the way you take the sport out of the hunt. <laughs> Let me look at your handiwork. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Be yeah. careful with that. We well, oh. gotta let the nitroglycerin settle. Oh, you don't have to worry. I studied ballistics. I was a statistics. Huh? Let me. Let me look at this button. Yeah, I don't touch this button. Don't get me very careful. I love the stopper in here. The stopper in the button. 